What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the video. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to solo invasion as a Quincy or as an Aramka. I know during the story the one that I did a few days ago, a lot of you guys were wondering how to do it with other races. So I'm gonna show you how to do it today. If you guys like and subscribe, join the Discord, and turn notifications on. Cause we're gonna be live. Let's get into it. Okay, so when you spawn in Wanden, use your Wayfinder and go to the purple marker. That's where every single evasion is and every single what like different location yes yeah, so when you get over here you can talk to the guy obviously i don't really know why he's on the roof but do an evasion i'm kind of low on this account so i'm just going to do the stealing objective just so i can show you guys how it works all right so you spawn in and your current job is to steal one temporal reishi gourd whatever that, that is and oh uh, yeah so that's the mark over there let me climb up here there's a crack in the wall, so you want to head this way. You see that NPC there? That's the NPC you need to talk to. It works the same way as it does for Soul Reapers. I need to go kill one of the NPC Soul Reapers. Bring the body to this guy. Right, let's talk to him. He says, with all these guards around, it's nearly impossible to get the gourds, which is true. So I placed here to help you guys out. Even the Quincy's just bring me a gourd and I'll create a disguise for you. Just like that. And I'm pretty sure this is the same guy for Aronkers as well. Cause Aronkers, they come here too. So that's why he said even for Quincy's. So if you're an Aronker, you know, do the same thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go kill that PC real quick and I'm gonna show you how it works. Alright, damn, I finally killed them, right? So you want to bring them back up here and just give them to the NPC. Let's talk to him, turn in guard. Let me just tear off the outfit and boom, disguise. Alright, and it does this weird thing. So essentially, it's like ripping his face off and putting it on my. But I look like them. Pretty disgusting. I don't know why it looks like that, but that's literally it. I'm gonna show you now, they don't touch you at all. That guy would have already aggroed to me. Like, already. You know, they aggro from me, like, really far away in this game. He doesn't want to do anything to me. I look exactly like him. Now you can do your invasions in peace. You know, you're not there right getting jumped. Especially in Soul Society. There's so many NPCs here. It's actually it's insane. It's disgusting. Yeah, they're not going to bother me at all. I can easily come down here, grab my gourd, and finish it. Also, a lot of you didn't know how to pick up stuff. You press V to pick stuff up, whether it's players, items. I know in my uh, the last video, people were spamming comments how to pick up the item. I thought it was you know, universally known, but yeah. Press V, that's how I pick it up. I'm gonna go finish this invasion. All right, so now I hand in the gourd, and I just gonna sit in the circle. Normally, there'd be NPC. I think those NPCs are for me. Yeah. I think they're meant to fight me because I know for a fact when you do the other one. No, it's this one. Yeah. NPC spawn on you. They're supposed to beat you up. You're supposed to kill them in like the one minute you have and stay in the circle. I'm just chilling and he has to go deal with them. Not me. So we get Mars well. I get Legendary. I got four items. Why do Quincy's get so much more? Damn, okay. Oh, all commons, so. Is where it is. So yeah, that's how you solo invasions as a Quincy or as an Iran card. Hope you guys found this useful. Catch on the next one. If you're a story friend and you want to know how to do it, I made a video for story friends as well. If you like and subscribe. Always have a good day. Stay blessed.